Next Sunday marks one year since white supremacists forever changed the image of Charlottesville, Virginia. Angered over the proposed removal of two Confederate statues, they organized a Unite the Right rally. It turned deadly when a self-proclaimed Nazi drove into a crowd of counter-protesters. Some residents blamed outsiders for the chaos, shocked that their city of Charlottesville, which calls itself progressive, could be home to white supremacists. Others say it just pulled the lid off the deep-seated racism within the city and called for sweeping changes immediately. So what's changed in nearly 365 days? Mayor Nakaya Walker joins us from Charlottesville. It's nice to have you. Thank you for being with us, Madam Mayor. Um, let's talk. Uh, Thanks for having me. Oh, you bet. Absolutely. Take us back almost a year ago. As you look back on that day, what do you realize now about the city and about what happened that you didn't know a year ago? Um, I think, you know, what I want the everyone else in the world to just be aware of is that what you said during your intro, that the deep-seated racism um, has been a major problem and still remains a problem in Charlottesville. The notion that we were talking about outsiders invading and not talking about, you know, two UVA alum um, who called people into our town um, to wreak havoc. Um, and we're joined by some people who lived here. Um, that's the message that I hope people are well aware of um, almost a year later. There are many people who said that, right? That it was outsiders, that the problem was yeah. not internal. Why do you think, I think I know the answer to this. Oh, but yeah, why just people, the distance. Right, right, to say it's not <laughs> yeah. us, it's another problem. Even calling them Nazis, we take away from, you know, what has happened um, historically in America, um, you know, the behavior perpetuated by white supremacy. So you say Nazis, people immediately think, oh, outside of the U.S., and then you get to Charlottesville and you distance yourself even, um, you know, further by saying outsiders. In the days after the protest, I remember that you spoke uh, before the city council about the government's reaction, and you said this. Why did you think that you could walk in here and do business as usual after this happened? What exactly did you mean by that to the very government officials that you were addressing? The city attempted to have a council meeting, um, regular start time, um, regular agenda, and um, instead of hearing from citizens about you know, their reaction to the events, the um, council at the time attempted to um, ignore you know, people and their reaction. And that's not how you begin the process of moving forward. They didn't want to acknowledge how much they had screwed up. In Charlottesville, the city council yeah. elects the mayor. You um, had an opponent, and you were the person who was very critical of city government. Why would they pick you? It's hard to get me in a room and um, dismiss me. So once I got in the room, even before the events of the summer started occurring, it's, you know, people started questioning um, what they knew to be truth about the town we lived in. Charlottesville is, is a really harmful place if you are black, um, Hispanic, and low-income and white. And people were open to challenging that. And um, I'm probably the best person to challenge, to challenge the system. Nakia Walker is the mayor of Charlottesville. It's nice to have you joining us, Madam Mayor. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. You bet.